What's your favorite glass cleaner and why? All right, that's a great question and we're gonna talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today we're gonna to be doing a product review on Spray Away, which is my favorite glass cleaner. And I will tell you this, this is not a paid endorsement. They do not know that I'm reviewing this product, but I'm gonna share with you how I discovered it how it works, and we're gonna test it and try it on a couple of different things, and I'm gonna let you know if it actually works. I'll give you a hint. It's my favorite, so it works. Okay, let's look at the company. Sprayway Inc. is the company that manufactures Sprayway, and they've been around since 1947, which makes the company almost as old as my dad. But please don't tell my dad I said that. <laughs> so in the 71 years they've been in business, they have an all-purpose cleaner. They have a stainless steel cleaner. They've got a marble and granite cleaner along with the glass cleaner that they have. And they have an entire line of auto cleaning products. On this show, when we do a review, we cover the safety data sheet, which is required by the globally harmonized system that says every chemical manufacturer has to list the proper protocols for their customers and consumers. So you know what the safety issues are and how best to use the products. The hazard identification is that it is a gas under pressure, and so it may explode if heated. The ingredients of Sprayway are propane, butane, ethyl alcohol, and butoxyethanol. And that is an organic compound, which is basically an inexpensive solvent that has low toxicity. In the first aid measures, it says there are no specific first aid measures noted. <laughs> and then it says, if you inhale it, move to fresh air. In the firefighting measures, it says suitable extinguishing media is water, fog, foam, dry chemical powder, carbon dioxide, which is basically any household fire extinguisher in the event that this should catch fire while it's in your possession. All right, accidental release measures. All right, for any reason, if this can should get punctured while it's in your possession, then you wanna <laughs> take it outside and get away from it as quick as possible. Don't inhale it and let it fizzle itself out. Alrighty, the handling and storage precautions say keep away from heat, sparks, open flames, and hot surfaces. And then it says do not use if the spray button is missing or defective. But if the spray button was missing or defective, you wouldn't be able to use it anyway. So there you go. Alrighty, the exposure guidelines. The butoxyethanol can be absorbed through the skin. So if you're going to be cleaning windows for a long extended period of time, it might be wise to use a pair of disposable gloves. Alrighty, the physical properties. It is a gas, it's an aerosol, and it is a liquefied gas. Stable and reactivity. The product is stable and non-reactive under normal conditions of use, storage, and transport. On the toxicological information, it has an eye contact warning. Uh, direct eye contact with the eyes, as in if you spray this in your eyes, it could cause temporary irritation. <laughs> Don't spray it in your eyes. In the ecological information, there's a note here that says the product is not classified as environmentally hazardous. The transport information is that it does ship under non-flammable aerosols, so that's good to know. And if you're a house cleaner and you're just commuting from house to house, if you want to carry it in your cleaning caddy, that's perfectly fine. Keep the lid on it and that way it will prevent it from falling over and accidentally spraying it inside your car without your authorization. All right, and then the regulatory information. The product is a hazardous chemical, and then it breaks down what the hazards are. Immediate hazard, no. Delayed hazard, no. Fire hazard, no. Pressure hazard, yes. So don't puncture it. Reactivity hazard, no. And other information that the manufacturer wants you to know is that the product is ammonia-free, it's streakless, and they are so convinced that you're gonna be excited about using it that they offer a 100% money-back guarantee on the Sprayway product. All right, so what we did first of all is we wanted to spray some glass that was on a large picture over a leather sofa. I like the Sprayway for the fact that when I sprayed over the leather sofa, the foam stuck to the glass and there was no overspray that landed on the floor or the sofa. Awesome. Okay, the next thing that I really enjoy is cleaning glass itself. It's great for small areas like transoms over doors and the small pane areas that go to the sides of doors because it doesn't leak down in those areas. All right, one tip for cleaning glass windows. There are two sides to a glass window. And so if you will clean both sides in different patterns, so you clean one side 
in a vertical pattern and you clean the other side in a horizontal pattern. Then if there are any streaks, you can see which direction the streak is going in and you'll know on which side of the window is the streak. So, booyah. All right, also this is great for mirrors because this doesn't leak behind the mirror itself. It's a foam, it sticks to the front of it. You wipe it down with a paper towel or a lint-free cloth. Lots of people like to use microfiber cloths, that's fine. You can also use coffee filters. You can use newspaper. Newspapers are kind of hard to come by anymore though, but paper towels work just fine. So you wanna use something that's lint-free and you just spray a little bit on the window and a little bit goes a long way. You do not need a lot of spray. All right, another thing that's awesome for this, glass tabletops, because lots of stuff gets on glass tabletops and there are constant fingerprints. So as a professional house cleaner, just to touch up a couple fingerprints here and there, you don't need to clean a whole area that's not dirty. If a piece of glass is already clean, you can simply spray on that area, wipe it down, and that the rest of the window is clean. You just dust the rest of the window. So that works as well. Um, other areas that I really enjoy using it for are like the rear view mirror of a car. When you're sitting inside your car, you don't wanna spray that mirror because then there will be overspray that falls down in the console and the little buttons and areas of your car. So this is great because it just hits that one area. Now you can clean the area, wipe it down, and you're done. Another great use for sprayway are the glass panes that are built into your cabinets that are either above your coffee bar or above your stove. There are lots of stoves that have these and there are probably china or something in the cabinets behind them. But these little glass windows get lots of grease from bacon grease or from cooking grease or fried foods or whatever. And it's very difficult to get clean. But the sprayway does an amazing job. And again, it doesn't leak because it's foam. So it doesn't leak from pane to pane and then it doesn't leak down onto your stove below. Hello. As a professional house cleaner or as a homeowner who cleans your own windows, one of the things that is really important is that you have a step stool that allows you to reach the height of the windows that you're trying to clean. If you are trying to clean and you're overreaching, you put yourself in a dangerous situation. So if you are wearing shoe covers, you may want to take your shoe covers off unless you are completely at the right height to clean the windows. Another thing that we must think about are also the blinds. After you get done dusting the blinds, you may want to go ahead and clean the windows at that time. That's just a good time to do it. But as long as you're cleaning windows, make sure that you clean the ledges below the windows. These are also known as window sills because you already have your paper towel. Your paper towel already has cleaning solution on it from the sprayway. So it's kind of a damp cloth anyway. It's a great chance to get the corners of those window sills, get out any bugs or any cobwebs that are there. Again, you wanna go in a S pattern so that you're not going backwards over the area that you just cleaned and you wanna make sure that you get all of the corners after you've cleaned the main area of the window. You wanna go back over and get all of the corners so it doesn't leave a little fog or a film in the corners. And then of course, you wanna go in opposite patterns on both sides of the window. Ooh, look how dirty that is. That came out really dirty, yikes. That's another reason why I like to use paper towels for windows because when you're done, you just discard the paper towel in the trash instead of having to do laundry then for the window glass. And you'll notice that the little bag that I'm wearing around my waist, and it's just clipped on with a carabiner's clip so that I can just unclip it when I'm done and toss it in the trash. But that little bag that I have around my waist, I've cleaned an entire house full of windows, and I've probably used a maximum of 10 paper towels. So if you're gonna use paper towels on windows, um, this is a plug for Bounty. Bounty does an amazing job because they're so durable. And like I say, you will use, you can clean an entire house full of windows with 10 or 12 paper towels. <laughs> so again, it's working smart, not hard, and making your work smart, not hard tools work for you so that you're not spending a lot of time and energy later on doing wash or what have you. I have to confess there's a customer that I had that used to take her liquid makeup foundation and instead of putting it on her hand as a palette, she would put it on her bathroom mirror. And it didn't matter what I used, I couldn't get it off the mirror. I would come back two weeks later and there would be 14 little dabs of liquid foundation on her mirror that she dabbed her little sponge from to put on her face. And so every week it was this constant fighting with this customer to try to get off this liquid foundation that was kind of caked on and dried, but the sprayway made it come right off and it just did an amazing job cleaning it without smearing that around or without creating a film or a foggy area that other glass cleaners did. 
So when I first discovered this product, I fell in love with it because it was so different from everything I'd tried. So if you haven't given it a try, I recommend that you do because it's so many uses for this product. And I'm gonna give Sprayway the Savvy Cleaner seal of approval. Now, if you use Sprayway, I wanna hear about it. I want you to leave me notes below. I want you to let me know how much you love Sprayway and if you've tried any of the other Sprayway products. I'm just curious, let's start a conversation. Alrighty, if you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.